Hello, Skyler Collins here. I wanted to talk about my book that I just published. I mentioned it previously. It's titled Everything Voluntary from Politics to Parenting. Now, this book was designed as a voluntarist primer, a primer to the voluntarist political philosophy. And I would go further and I would say, and I say this in the book, that it is more than a political philosophy, it's a, it's a social philosophy, it's a life philosophy because it does not only concern the realm of politics, it, always, it also concerns the realm of parenting, um, our families, and so forth. So, that's why I follow it as much. Now, it's a primer, meaning it's, it's designed to just introduce uh, the voluntarist argument in these, in these different um, subjects to the reader. It's, it's not designed to be a comprehensive study of all things voluntarism. Now, voluntarism itself, in my opinion, is the logical conclusion of the libertarian uh, political and ethical philosophy. Okay, the libertarian ethical philosophy is founded on two um, basic um, principles they are that everybody owns themselves, the self ownership principle, and that it is ethically unjustified to initiate aggression um, or violence against another person. Now, the key word there is the initiation of aggression. Aggression, violence, force, these are okay in retaliation to the initiation of aggression by somebody else. And the fulfillment of both of these principles in every area of life is voluntarism. If you are a consistent libertarian and you take the libertarian principle axioms to their logical conclusion, then you are a voluntarian. Now, another way to say voluntarian, now the term voluntarian is it, it, it's an old term, but it's a new term. It was first coined, I believe, by um, Alvarado Herbert, I'm not sure what year, late 19th century. Um, but it's not a very commonly used word among libertarian monetarians. The more common would probably be anarchists or anarcho capitalists um, or market anarchists. What that sort of revealed is that they've only ever really been concerned with politics and the economy. They've never they've never been too concerned um, as a matter of theory with parenting and our families um, as a matter of theory. So anarcho-capitalism, it, it, that is the political economic side, I guess you could say, of voluntarism. Voluntarism, in my opinion, and in, in, in several other voluntarist opinions, um, I would say there's probably consensus on this. Voluntarism also includes family life. Um, parenting, how we educate our children now. Voluntarists have, especially Carl Wagner in his, in his Voluntarist newsletter um, and in his other publications, have been staunch uh, supporters and defenders of homeschooling. In other words, getting the government out of schooling, so either public school or uh, excuse me, private schooling or homeschooling, and that's that's a that's a that's a very important front in the battle for our freedoms and our liberty. However, homeschooling can be just as coercive and aggressive as public schooling. The only difference is rather than the government and a teacher's union forcing kids to learn things against their will, forcing them, and even going so far as to punishing them physically, uh, the parent does it. So homeschooling, it's kind of a false dichotomy, homeschooling versus public schooling. There, there is a difference, but the difference is negligible. It's, it's, it's who's educating your kids, not how your kids are being educated. So the voluntarist uh, argument would be to give the child complete academic freedom, complete control over what he puts into his mind. 
um, of course, the parent is a facilitator. The parent is there as a resource. The parent can certainly introduce things to his child and should introduce things that he thinks will be beneficial. Um, that's okay as far as you know, voluntarism is concerned. Um, so voluntarism is politically, it's being free, it's being left alone to do anything peaceful. Of course, if we hurt somebody, then then, then there will be retaliation for that. Um, that does not mean that a monopoly government is justified. It's, it's not because in order for a monopoly government to enforce its monopoly, it has to violate everybody else's rights in society. Um, so politically, voluntarism is anti-monopoly government, therefore it's anti-state. That is, that is what makes a state a state. It, it sets itself up as the final arbiter and as the monopoly on the use of force in society. It, it is the final um, decider on disputes and it exercises uh, force and above um, everybody else. And it only allows other people to exercise force. Okay, it allows you to defend yourself, but ultimately you've got to go through the state to get any sort of justice. So that's the politics of voluntarism, and then there, of course, that leads right into the economy because every anytime we interact with somebody, it's it's quite often an economic transaction, whatever it is, and so it, it goes into the economy, um, the free market, we could call it, um, free enterprise, laissez-faire. Uh, in other words, people are free to trade without interference without intervention by a monopoly government, um, the free market. So that's, that's, that's voluntarism in the marketplace, the free market free enterprise, um, as opposed to a centrally planned economy or intervention of the government making rules, regulations, requiring licensure, so forth. These are all violations of the free market. Um, you now, I also have a section on there on religion is not so much, I mean, it is in a way promoting those religions, not any specific religion um, or non religion, uh, but anything that's peaceful, okay? You're not allowed to initiate aggression. And religions that think that they need to uh, uh, force the converts and that sort of thing by the sword is it, it, not kosher, they're not actually justified by regard. Peaceful religion. Is kind of what that's about, but it's also about that section is also about the growing statist nationalistic religion in the world. Certainly, as big in the U.S., I mean, you can uh, people in the U.S. have different gods, and everybody's pretty tolerant. But if you question, if you question, um, you know, your civic duty, or if you question the, the, the privilege of voting, or if you decide not to say the pledge, or to sing the national hymns, you, you really, you're branded as a heretic, you're branded as this and that, so it can be very dangerous to express those views in public, um, and so forth. So that's that's kind of more what the religion section on it is, and, and that, that's voluntarism is kind of against that thing, and of course, because it's anti-state, of course, it's anti-statist religion, or secular theocracy is what the chapter is called there. So, and, and then this, this comes back to not only our, our children's education, but also the way we parent, the way that we approach our children. Do we approach them as fellow human beings? Do we approach them with respect? Do we, do we treat them like we would treat our friends and other people that we care about? Or do we scorn them and yell at them and punish them? I mean, it's absolutely despicable behavior that I see coming from parents, and myself included previously. It was just almost a year ago when I, I had this realization and changed my wife and I, did some study. Um, we changed our, our complete, you know, our total parenting style, we changed it. And our home has been more peaceful, it's been more loving. We've had our, certainly we've had our conflicts, our children have had conflicts, but just seeing um, us work things out in a peaceful way, we know that we're on the right path, and it's absolutely amazing. Being mean to your kids, even if you think it's for their own good, being bitter, being ugly with them is just unacceptable. It's disgusting. 
Um, and that's, that's, that's that part of the book. It just kind of introduces the reader to compassionate parenting um, and so forth. Um, looking at children um, differently. Looking at them as, as, you know, they're ignorant in life. They're just trying to figure stuff out. They don't know anything. They don't know very much. They, they have to learn. They have experience. We need to help them with this. We need to help them grow. We need to help them through the challenges. Um, so that's what that's about. So, um, and then I just finished with it afterwards, kind of admonishing people to, to, to change things in their own home and then to study and, and to, to educate themselves on principles of sound economic theory, um, uh, voluntary political philosophy, and so forth. And I, I give a lot of resources in there, really good stuff. Um, it's titled Everything Voluntary from Politics to Parenting. I cover the whole spectrum. It, it is a primer. Um, it, it is designed to lead people to uh, to then take that and increase their understanding, deepen their understanding of libertarianism, specifically voluntarism, um, and you know take it to new levels. So that's the book. Um, you can pick it up on Amazon. Go to everything-voluntary.com. You can pick it up there. Um, I recommend ordering it from Crave Space. You go to the website, everything-voluntary.com. You can read it for free in PDF. There's a scripted version. There's an HTML version, so you can hyperlink the chapters if you want to share them with people and whatnot. Um, I recommend it. It's great. I'm working on some other stuff right now. Um, I self-published it. I used createspace.com, wonderful service. And uh, I'm going to use it again. It was, it was very easy to use. So if you, if you have anything you want to publish, whether you write it or you put it together, you know, get your permissions. Create space doesn't really, I mean, you have to tell them that you have the rights to it. Um, and they sort of take your word, word for it. And so if you get in trouble, make sure you have your emails giving you permission for stuff. Um, put it together, publish it. It's quick and easy. It's also available on Kindle and EPUB. Um, Everything-voluntary.com. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Leave a review. Email me, everythingvoluntary at gmail.com. Um, let me know what you think. You know, I'm doing what I can. I'm keeping up a good fight. And uh, that's what we all need to do. Have a good one.